Cadê que ele? You need to uh, unmute yourself. So again, welcome everyone to uh, Master Ealing's communion service. Uh, we'll just ask the Lord to bless this time together. Heavenly Father, we commit this uh, service to you as we remember again your sacrifice. We ask again that you will speak new meaning to us. Well, we do it regularly and Lord, it's easy to become familiar, but we ask that by your Holy Spirit that you will bring new truths and new light. And once again, we'll be in awe of your love towards us. So Lord, thank you for this time together. Amen. I'm just going to read familiar words from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, beginning to read at verse 23 for i have received of the lord that which also i delivered unto you that the lord jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Do this, ye, as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. I suppose when we think about communion as a meaning to us of past, present, and future past because we look back we look back to that day when Jesus gave his life he gave it willingly he allowed his body to be broken and his blood to be shed so that we may be reconciled to God so we look back and remember his sacrifice it has a present day meaning as well, because we do this uh, to proclaim the Lord's death. It's a message that we proclaim, a message that we take to others. And um, that's what we do. That's the Great Commission, to go into all the world and to tell people the good news of the gospel. And this communion that we do regularly, generally week by week, it brings the cross to the forefront. And that's the mission of the church, to tell people the good news, that Christ has died for their sins, and that they can soon be reconciled, they can be reconciled to God by accepting his sacrifice. And it also has a future element, because the final part of what we read it says for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you do show the lord's death until he comes and that's our great hope as christians that one day christ will return and then this communion service that we do presumably will stop not sure what we're going to do in heaven but we are to do this until he comes one day christ has promised to return and so it has a past in that we remember what the lord has done for us as a present because as we do this we're proclaiming to the world that christ died for our sins and that on the third day he rose again and it has a future it looks forward to that day when jesus christ will return so we're just going to give thanks for the bread and for the wine 
as we take it. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for your sacrifice. We thank you for these emblems which speak to us of your death, the bread of your body that was broken for us, and your blood that was shed, that we might know the remission of our sins. And so we eat this bread and we drink this wine in remembrance of you, proclaiming to the world that Jesus died for our sins and looking forward to the day when you will return. Amen. So as I said, it was on the night that Jesus was betrayed that he took the bread and he broke it. And he said, this is my body. This is my body, which is broken for you. Eat this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, Jesus took the cup, saying this cup represented a new covenant, one purchased by his precious blood. And we drink this in remembrance of him. So thank you, God, for sending Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you came. Amen. Thank you, Brian. 